We're here at Garments Hangers in Gardner, Kansas at New Century Airfield. This is where Garmin flies and certifies new avionics and aircraft. We're going to take a tour of their hangars and go for a flight in their CJ2 with their newly upgraded avionics suite and take a look at how FAA Datacom works in the air. Garmin develops avionics for new aircraft, but it also engineers retrofits for older aircraft, giving them new features and capabilities. It does all this here in Kansas. So we're very vertically integrated and we handle all of the uh, engineering, avionics installation, the maintenance, software development, hardware development, and it all kind of starts at the root of when we have a vision for a new product that goes into flight test. We develop the product via an R&D process, a flight test process, and then that, that new technology, the new feature, the new hardware gets integrated into a project. We've got a fantastic team of certification engineers that work for our ODA, uh, which is an internal uh, process that allows us to certify products on behalf of the FAA with FAA oversight. And so we handle every aspect of the project internally. When we've got uh, new airplanes that come in that Garmin is developing products for, uh, we'll take a new airplane in, such as our uh, Citation Ultra. We'll remove all of the avionics, and this is really kind of where we do all of our R&D. We'll remove those avionics, do our research and development, do the engineering, the fabrication, the modification, uh, and put our new Garmin avionics back into the airplane with all of the latest and greatest Garmin features. So at the culmination of the project, we'll have an STC generated by the FAA, and we'll also have an engineering package where our Garmin dealers can take the engineering and bring in aircraft out in the field and do the modification to apply the STC to that aircraft. To see one of Garmin's avionics upgrades for myself, I'm going flying in the company's Cessna Citation CJ2 with Jessica Koss, the team lead of the company's corporate flight department. She's showing me how the FAA Datacom feature works. So Amy, what we have in this cockpit today, we have two 10-inch TSI flight displays. We have EIS on TSI, of course, dual GTN 750XI, GFC 600 autopilot, and then as you already noticed, our uh, dual GI-275 standby flight displays. Um, in the background, and what we're going to see today is the GDR-66, which will enable CPDLC and In today's busy airspace, clear communication between pilots and controllers is essential. Datacom helps make that process easier and more reliable. Instead of struggling to communicate on crowded voice frequencies, Datacom uses digital text messaging called Controller Pilot Data Link Communications, or CPDLC, to send and receive clearances, reroutes, and other flight instructions. When equipped aircraft are on the ground at one of the 60 U.S. airports with departure clearance capability, pilots can log on, receive their IFR clearance by text, and automatically load it into their flight management system. Once airborne, Datacom continues to work through FAA in route centers, delivering altitude, route, and frequency changes directly to the cockpit. Pilots can also send text based requests to air traffic control for direct routings, deviations, or altitude changes. The system helps reduce radio congestion, eliminates readback errors, and supports smoother workflow for pilots and controllers. This is especially helpful in today's crowded airspace and for single pilot operations. Garmin's implementation brings the FAA Datacom service to select integrated flight decks, including the G3000 and G5000, as well as GTN 725XI and 750XI navigators. With the proper enablement and subscription, pilots can now exchange digital messages with ATC, enhancing efficiency, accuracy, and clarity in every phase of flight. Garmin's U.S. operations stand apart for its vertical integration. From design to distribution, every stage of development happens in-house, ensuring consistent quality, rapid innovation, and supply chain resilience. At its expanded Olathe, Kansas campus, Garmin combines engineering, manufacturing, and distribution in one operation. The result is advanced aviation production, rigorous in-house testing, and a collaborative environment where technology and craftsmanship meet. <laughs>